Hi everyone, so if you saw my review of the pink pineapple, you will recognize this. This is a core that came with the pink pineapple. Um, if you haven't watched that video yet, pause this and go watch that, it's pretty interesting. Um, so it came with this vacuum pineapple slicer, which according to Amazon is a little bit under $10 right now. And I didn't try it with pink pineapple because I didn't want to mess up my pink pineapple, but I'm going to try it with this pineapple today which is not a very good pineapple in terms of, doesn't look very good because I bought it a couple days ago. So it's, it's time to cut it. Um, but just to show you, here's the two pieces that it comes with. I already found a con because I washed this and this top is still leaking out water all over my cutting board, no matter how many times I try it. But anyway, so you just put the piece together like, like this and then I will cut the top and bottom of the pineapple and we will give it a try. Okay, so first we will remove the top and the bottom. So just to give you an idea, this is top, oh, there, top and then the bottom. And then the directions say basically to just Push it right here down in the core, and then push and twist. That initial part was pretty difficult, but this twisting part seems to be a little bit easier now as we look it down farther. this point I'm not really sure what's happening because I it seems easy at times and then it's like harder at other times definitely feel like I'm getting a workout and then like right now if I try to push up it's not take a little break and see what what this looks like on the inside. Okay, so all of that work only got me that far down in the pineapple. So uh, I'm gonna cut this open a little bit more and see see what it did. As you can see here, this took off a little bit more than I would normally. Here it looks like it would have been significantly more. I'm sure it probably depends on the size of your pineapple. This is, this is a big pineapple from Costco. Bigger ones that you can buy. Okay, yeah, so if you can see here, We didn't make it down. I didn't make it down very far. And then I'm, oh, here I can take it off. Okay, so actually it did seem to stay pretty true to the core um, with that. And then you can just pop off this top, I guess, and <laughs> maybe have something come out the bottom. All right, so I'll turn this around and go from there. Okay, so that was a total mess. Um, it did seem to stay pretty true to the core, but when I took the fruit off, this is what it looks like. There's one 
good solid ring and even though this pineapple did look gold on the outside it's still it's still a good quality pineapple on the inside like if I cut it right now it's not gonna it's not gonna spread apart like that like you can still cut into good pieces so uh, I don't know if it was made for a smaller pineapple I wish I had another one to test with but even so that's way too much work to try to get the core of the pineapple out when you can just easily cut around it and also really didn't like that there was waterlogged in this after washing it kind of makes me worry about what could grow in here after washing it in between uses so i'm really not the big of a fan of this i think it's i don't think it's that hard to cut a pineapple and not to mention i mean look at this it's a huge mess because when i want to take the thing out there's juice all over the cutting board and the table Okay, so I am going to finish cutting this like normal and we will eat it and enjoy it. And I will not probably be donating this and not using this again. But anyways, thank you for watching. And if you'd like to see more produce related content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you wanna learn how to buy a good pineapple, you can check out my grocery guide at theproducenerd.com slash grocery dash guide. Thank you.